All right, let's make sure that we actually dynamically display the author's information. And also we should display when this, pub, this post was published and by whom it was published. All right, in order to do that, I'm going to take a div block and nest it below this rich text block, but make sure it's in the container. And within that div block, I'm going to nest two more things. First of all, I'm going to nest a text block, which is a div element wrapping some text. And then I'm going to take one more div block and drop it be below this, this text block. And let's start by displaying Dan's profile image. I am going to get this image and I am going to display it dynamically depending on the blog post. And you can see here now we have access to the author's settings as well because we interlink them dynamically. We interlink the CMS item to the, the author CMS collection to the blog post CMS collection. And that allows us to get the profile picture. And then let's set an alternative text as well. And I'm just going to set profile picture author. This is later on helpful. We are going to talk more about alternative text and images in a later video when we search engine optimize our whole page. Now let's also display some information about Dan and for that we can get his profile text. Perfect. Now this always should change dynamically depending on the author of the black blog post. So far we only have one author. However, in the future, in the future, if you decide to add a second author, a third author, and then this is always going to be adjusted really dynamically. All right, let's change this text in order to display dynamically when this post was published and by whom. Let's give this first a class name. Let's call it maybe blog tech info. Oh, this is block tag. And then I am going to change this published on. And then what we need to do is copy paste this and dynamically adjust the content of this. Get text from blog post. And here we can change the it to published on and leave it here we you can manually as well adjust the format i'm just going to leave the format as it is currently however if you like to display a different format you can certainly do so now let's add two more elements here and say by whom it was published and then we need to bring them all in one line. So here again, get text dynamically and I'm going to choose author name. And you see they're all currently in one line each. So in order to get them on one line, I change the display settings to in line. And now that brings them all on one line. And now the only thing I want to do is create some spacing between these dynamically entered content parts and the pre-written content parts. As you can see, currently Webflow or HTML doesn't give them any spacing in between. Let's go about changing that by just giving these elements a padding or margin of, let's say two pixels on the left hand side. And that should create some space in between those different block tag elements. And the last thing I want to do is I want to make the font stand out a bit more. In order to do that, I'm going to make it heavier and let's reduce its size slightly and then push everything down a bit. Let's give it a margin of 10 pixels at the bottom. Okay. Now there is a bit of space here right now between this published 
on and their blog posts and that has to do because apparently when we added the blog post I created some space at the bottom here let's go about removing that and see how that looks without any uh, spacing okay perfect now the next thing I want to do is I want to style this text and this image a bit better let's try to move this text up and adjust the image styling a bit and in order to do this, so I'm going to first of all style this div block, which is so far wrapping everything. I'm going to give it a class of blog post author information. And then I'm going to change the setting to flex and make sure that the standard settings are applied. The next thing I'm going to change is I'm going to change the paragraph setting. So this dynamically displayed paragraph and I'm going to give it again a class block author bio text and let's give it a width of say 200 pixels and then make sure we uh, adjust the font a bit I wanted to be s s having a bit of a lighter font so that it's apparent that it does not belong to the main text. Let's make it as well a bit smaller and then try to get it to go lower a bit. And in order for, to do that, I'm going to do flex box and then make a line center. Now, the last thing I would want to do is I want to change this image. Let's go again, changing that as well. Blog post author image and it would be nice if you can give it some radius to make it rounder. So what about if you apply 40 pixel radius that's going to make it rounder. We could even try 60 pixels. Perfect. Now what we should do is we should apply some spacing here as well. And in order to do that, I'm going to give it a padding of 20 pixels. This looks good. And now everything here is too close so let's give it again a padding of 100 pixels at the bottom to create some more spacing in here and then we can preview everything once again and i think this already looks a lot better maybe we can create some spacing here in order to make sure that it's apparent that this is not part of the main text anymore and in order to do that i have to select our div block wrap in everything and i'm going to give it a class of block author wrapper and give it a margin of let's say 60 pixels at the top and that pushes everything down Let's preview it once again. And I think this looks pretty good already. Now, this text and image should always dynamically change. One thing is we have very little text here. In case you have a lot longer profile text, you might have to adjust the styling of this text again. But I think for the moment, that's perfectly fine for such a short text. Let's go back and publish it and then check out how everything looks like on the live website with all the different blog posts. In order to check it, let's go back, reload the page and then inspect a different blog post and it looks like this. So it seems like, again, this blog post has a bit of spacing at the end, which makes everything look a bit odd. And I think that's from when I copy pasted the blog posts into the CMS and I have to manually remove the spacing in the CMS in order to make sure that the design fits well again. And in order to do that, all I have to do is I go back to our CMS and select the blog posts and make sure that there's not too much spacing at the bottom hit save 
and do that for the other ones as well. Now I've manually removed the spacing at all three other posts. Let's close this, hit publish again. And now everything should be perfectly working. Let's inspect. And this looks already a lot better. All right, we finished the blog post section as well. There are still a few other web pages we still need to design. However, we have done our first two pages. And as you can see, once you have some basic elements prepa prepared, it should go a lot quicker in designing the rest of the pages. Let's go about and design the next page in the next video.